We'll paint a beautiful monarch butterfly together. I have some Grumbacher Miscuit, which is just the same as masking fluid. I'm just using a little silicone shaper tool. They actually use them for clay but I find it's a good way to get small dots. With all of these little fussy white dots, I'm probably going to just paint those on after. I just kind of want to get the main big ones just to kind of have a notation of where they are. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect. Is not. And if you have a lot of masking to do, don't leave your masking fluid open like that. Pour some in a dish and then do it from the dish. But I like these little rubber tools because the masking fluid peels right off of them. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and then I will see you when I get back. Don't mind my voice. I've been sick for quite a while, so <clears throat> it might kind of come in and out. Starting out, I think we're going to try this nice orange. Wow, that's that paint is very pigmented. If you notice, I'm just grabbing some water to pull that out. So I'm just painting the orange on dry paper. You don't have to worry about going too close to the edges. That's going to be black anyway. And where it is quite light, I'm just going to pick some up because we can always go back and add a little after. So you're going to have some light spots out there on the wings. Now, what do we have? We have a nice permanent red. I'm going to mix that with the orange. Put a little dab. Just going to put in some variation of color. Don't forget, this is going to dry lighter. It is lighter actually right here and here down by the sides of the wings. Remember, don't cover over the little light spot. Now I'm going to grab some yellow. A mm, little bit of the green. I'm going to make a really, really kind of bright green. And I'm just going to paint in. Go that out. I'm just putting a hint. You don't need all kinds of little stems. Now, my little flowers, I'm just going to put little touches. They're going to be red and yellow. Well, sort of. So I'm just going to take some of this yellow. And then I'm just going to grab a little of the red. Mix that in with the yellow, maybe a little of the green. Just so it's not so bright. Then I'm going to just add a few, just trying to keep them loose. Okay, so that's still drying, but <clears throat> I'll go in and just add a little definition. I'm just pulling that up with some water. There, you don't need a whole lot. We're just kind of suggesting we're not painting detailed flowers. All right, I guess we're to the point now where we have to let everything dry. So this is good and dry. Now, <clears throat> There are some lighter spots when I do the black that I'm going to try to paint around, but if I don't get around them, it's not a big deal. We can use some uh, Martin's Bleed Proof White on them. I am going to take some of the black from this. Ooh, that's black. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of blacks, but I'm going to use what I have. So let's do a little bit of the cobalt. Let's do a little more. I'm going to start with our little head. His little body is a little thicker there. And he comes down to where he has the little stripes on his back end. All right, and, th and that kind of blends in with the actual wings. Just going to go down to the tip. Now, if you look where those these round spots are, part of his wing has a lot more black. It is so hard to paint this without turning it. So he comes down like this. And I'm just putting quite a watery layer on right now. Now, this is where we have to kind of pay attention. I have one, two, three, four little white spots or lighter spots. Then this, I've got white here and light there. This is all black. And then we have a big spot there. Don't worry if you get some back runs. We're going to go over this again. We're just kind of mapping out this first section of the wing. And my pencil lines are really dark, but I wanted you to be able to see where I was going. So some of those might show on mine in the end, but. Okay, so that is the actual first part of the wing. You can see how light that's drying. And the actual edge of the wing is a little, it's not completely smooth. It almost serrated, but it's because it has little white dots showing. All right, once we get these all in, then we'll be able to judge better. Now, this one I'm going to have to turn. There's just no way I can paint it. So I'm going to turn this way so I can kind of work into it. This way and then that way. And if you want to keep a nice smooth line, always put the point of your brush 
to the line. Don't try to paint this way backwards. You, you'll never have a nice line. This is your overlap wing right here. Now you can see too where I you can I kind of didn't go all the way out to my line. All right, you can already start to see him taking shape. Ooh, that black is really overpowering. Like a little goes a long way. Don't mind my voice either. I ever since I was so sick there for the eight weeks, I um I just can't seem to get my voice back normal. Let's do the underneath wing. So again, I'm gonna start right big long one right here that kind of overlaps. Okay, so now with this, I just want to mark in these legs. See those legs? And there's really not a lot of big parts to them, but there's one here, and this one is a little longer, and a tiny bit, and then it down like that with a little foot. This one actually comes back, and it comes back, and then the little foot is right there. So then we have, oh no, just a sec, let me get that. I forgot I had some, let's grab some of this orange, and all I'm gonna do is disguise that. I think I will draw those in actually after with an ink pen. Oh, that's very thick too. I'm gonna just grab some of this red and just drop it in a couple spots, just to give it a little bit of variation. That is a cerulean and the yellow. I'm going to grab a little yellow over to this side as well. I'm going to grab a little of this. Now I'm going to take this darker green and I'm just going to drop some in just a little just to help it have a little more dimension. Okay, we're all dry. Now we're going to go back and make sure you're not dripping water from your brush. And I'm going to wet parts and I'm going to do one wing at a time. So I'm just going to drop in and I just want the water to take it so it'll be softer and not such a harsh line. And I'm kind of painting through some areas maybe that I didn't wet, but that's okay. Now, if you look, see right there, you can see where I put the water. All I'm gonna do is take my brush and just extend it a little. Okay, now I'm gonna take some blue and dropping it in, you want fairly thick pigment. I'm just adding some different colors to my black and especially down right around where it's going to be nice and orange, then I might actually darken down some of this blue black and make it not so, wow, that black is, <laughs> look, I've just covered my blue. I'll have to be careful. So I'm just kind of varying it now that I have a plan and I'll put some dark, really dark in spots. I'll leave some blue. All right, so I'm going to turn around and now I'm going to do this other top. I just rolled my brush there because there was some water there and that'll just kind of take off the excess water and you won't end up releasing a whole whack of water to your painting. and I'm going to dry this. So that dried pretty good. I, I feel the pigments a little too thick, but that's all right. It's not too bad. 
but I am going to put some orange, dull it down a little with the blue. Ooh, that's way too much. Maybe down under here would be kind of darker. Get that back up to orange. Remember, if you put too much on, just a damp brush, we'll lift it off. That's going to have to be dried, and I think I am going to take off that masking fluid. Give me one sec. And typically, I don't dry something if I have masking fluid on it, but this is just such a little bit. Even if I couldn't get it off, it wouldn't be a big deal. Oh, yeah, there's some whites. Okay. So our white is off. I think what I'm going to do is go in and start placing some of those white dots so I have a better idea. Now, this is the Martin's Bleed Proof White, if you've never seen it. It's like a white gouache, but it's nice and opaque. I'm going to actually clean a spot off. First time I ever bought this, it was really, really sticky. Like, I didn't realize because I had never had it before. It should not be hard. You shouldn't have to work at getting it out. Yeah, it should be nice and fresh. This is without water. Before I start that, I'm going to get lots of blue. And I want it nice and watery. That's good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these. So where it is white, it'll be like a blue, and then it'll blend in with the wing if I decide not to put all of the color on that spot. You'll see what I mean. That was kind of confusing, sorry. I should really think before I talk. <laughs> no. All right, yeah, that's that's way too much. If you got that much, take dab your brush. You do not need that much paint on your painting. So as I cover this over, now I'm just going to pick some of that back up. I kind of went over this little edge where there would, would have been white little dot just to lighten it some. Kind of just go around these little, almost like negative painting. Okay, again, I'll just dry that. So there's one. And there's one and one. Do you see how it's It'll blend in with that, and if there's some blue around it, that's okay, because it helps kind of blend it in. So now we're going to put some dots in here so we know. And they get a lot smaller as they come to the bottom of the wings here. Don't forget to reload your brush if your white dots start kind of disappearing. And they are going to blend in like they will sink in some. You can always go over the, um, you know, the really, really bright dots a couple times if you have to. All right, let's move up here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's, oh, let's skip over to this side now. Now, let me throw a little of this orangey yellow into this. Yeah, that's not too bad. So we're going to do our colored ones. I want some vibrant orange, even though these aren't as vibrant. Don't forget, we're the artists. We get to put the colors we want and our impressions. And when you see a monarch in real life, they are so much prettier than pictures. They get a little lighter as they go down. So I'm just kind of pulling them down with the water. I'm just throwing a little red, ready orange in there just to kind of blend in the flowers so they match. And again, I'm not trying to be uh, perfect. I'm just throwing some in. It doesn't cover all the other colors. Uh, one right here, one there, 
and one there. Okay, I'm going to grab a little of this orange and just put it in a couple spaces, just so it blends. Now I'm just gonna grab some yellow, just for variation, and let that bleed back in. All right, I'm going to actually let that dry. Just wanna get a little more of this light. And I'm just gonna just whiten up a couple of these little spots. And I'm not whitening all of it, I'm just kind of hitting in the middle of it because they do kind of fade away. I'm just using not quite a blue black, just some black to define a couple areas. And I'm just going to go around just in between a couple of these, just so it, they're a little more defined. I'm not going over everything again. I'm just kind of making some separations. <laughs> 